Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video series we'll be looking at Microsoft uh, 365 and we'll be diving into a number of topics relating to Microsoft 365 such as uh, creating and managing user identities, creating and managing groups, setting up password policies, uh, setting up multi-factor authentication as well as conditional access. We'll also be looking at data loss prevention and other uh, data governance topics. We will be looking at uh, SharePoint Online, looking at the different templates that are available, and uh, as well as the features in SharePoint Online. We'll also be looking at Teams, and uh, we'll also be looking at Power Apps, as well as many, many other topics. I like to take a pragmatic approach to, to my videos, so I won't be going into too much detail in the theory, um, and we'll be getting our hands dirty and uh, actually setting up and configuring our tenant. So for this, it's important that you have your own uh, tenant. More specifically, you have an E5 uh, subscription or E5 license. If you look at the Microsoft licensing page for uh, Microsoft 365, you can see the differences between the license, so the difference between the E3, the E5, and the F3. Uh, the cost of the license is 57 euros per month per user. Obviously, this depends on your region, but uh, the focus of this video is setting up a free tenant with a uh, E5 subscription. So uh, don't be alarmed by the cost. There will be no cost, but it is only for testing purposes. So if we scroll down, uh, you can see the differences in the licensing. So uh, advanced analytics, it's only available in the E5. Uh, identity and access management, again, only available in E5. Same with the threat protection, it's only available in E5. And information protection and advanced compliance. So we will be working with security and compliance. Uh, so therefore, this E5 subscription is mandatory. Um, so to set up a, a free uh, E5 subscription, you can hop over to developer.microsoft.com. Uh, I'll be adding all of these uh, links to the video description, uh, but when you go through to the developer, Microsoft.com, you'll see they have a developer program where you can join for free. The only uh, requirement is that you have a mobile device as well as a Microsoft email address. If you don't have a Microsoft email address, you can register at Outlook.com, or uh, if you already have a Microsoft email address, you can click on the Join Now and set up your uh, free uh, subscription. So if we scroll down over here, you can see you get a, a, a free uh, renewable 90-day Microsoft E3 uh, E5 uh, developer subscription. Uh, you can click on the link to learn more about it. But if you scroll down, you can see over here you get 25 users as well as the, the features that you'll, you'll get with the subscription. Um, I've already subscribed, so if you click on Join Now, you'll be taken through to another window where you'll be asked to enter your name, your email address, your Microsoft email address, and your mobile de device. It's important to, to have a mobile device because this is how you need to validate your identity. I've created a number of uh, free subscriptions, so uh, I don't know what the limit is per mobile device, but I, I don't think uh, there is a limit, so you can create as many as you, as you, as you need. So click on the Join Now and enter the, the required information. Uh, when you're finished with that, it will take you through to your um, Microsoft Developer Program uh, page where you'll have your, your name of the uh, URL that you registered or the, the, the your company name, um, as well as uh, the license description and when the license expires. So this expires in, the, uh, in, in 85 days and I have 90 of oh, the 91 days. Uh, when you registered, you added an administrator account. This is the global admin, and uh, this would be the email address of the, the global admin. Uh, as we mentioned in the previous uh, um, page, we have 25 licenses, and uh, you also have these sample packs that you can enable. So you can have a, a user sample pack where you can create fictitious users. Uh, you can have the same for Mail and the same for SharePoint. Unfortunately, uh, we won't be using that because we will actually be creating that ourselves, and um, uh, we will be creating the SharePoint sites, creating the users, creating the groups, 
uh, as, as practices to, to get familiar with those processes. So if you click on go to subscription, this will take you to your, your page where you can uh, have uh, on the left hand side here all the applications that you have access to as part of your licensing. So Word, Excel, PowerPoint and Outlook as well as OneDrive. We won't be looking at those topics, um, but Outlook, uh, OneDrive, SharePoint, and Teams, we will be looking at. It's important to, to mention that uh, this screen may change. Microsoft does uh, changes to, to the environment uh, regularly. So uh, if, if uh, it looks slightly different, then this would be, be normal because they, they add new features, remove features, and change features on a regular basis, so it's uh, important to read the documentation and be aware of what has changed. If you click on your name, you can see you've got some information about your account, uh, but most important, the area where we will be working in is the admin center. So if you click on the link to the admin, it will take you to admin.microsoft.com. Uh, again, if you click on, your, on the, the top here by your name, you see over here, it will have the admin account that you, you logged in with. You can also sign out and sign in with a different account if you if you have a different admin account. So over here, you can see we have the E5 subscription. You can click and go to the guides and read more information and, and uh, have a look at some information that you have in your tenant. And you can also click on show all and you'll see the security, the compliance, the, manage the endpoint management, as well as uh, as your Active Directory and Exchange, SharePoint, Teams and the Admin Center. Um, so for the Office 365 or the, uh, the Microsoft 365 uh, subscription, we've already set that up. But to be able to use your security and compliance, we need to make some changes to Azure. So if we open up a new tab and we go to portal.azure.com, you'll see we have an option for Active Directory. Again, Microsoft may change the look and feel. But if you're looking for a service, so for, for example, Active Directory, you can type it in the search and it will display all of the features available uh, according to your uh, query. So over here, you can see Azure Active Directory. We also have it listed over here. Just to mention, if you scroll down, you can see you've got virtual machines, app services, uh, SQL databases, and many, many other services. Uh, in, these, in this series, we won't really be looking at this. But if you do enable virtual machines, you might incur some costs. So it's important to also to read the description and see what's included in your license. Anyway, so if we click on View for our Active Directory, this will take us through to the Active Directory, where you can see your users, your groups, external identities, roles, and administrators. And if we scroll down to Licenses, you can see we have um, some information for getting started with licenses, as well as over here, a quick link where you can see your bill, you can manage your purchase additional licenses. We're working with a free uh, subscription, so we don't need that, but we need to enable uh, an additional license. So if you click get a free trial, you can see over here, we have the enterprise mobility and security E5, as well as the zero AD premium P2. So we will be work, we will require the features available in the enterprise mobility and security, which includes the P2. So if you click on the drop down over there, you can read some information. You can also click on the link and open the, the, the window where it will give you the page where it will give you more information. But you can click on activate and this will activate a free test subscription uh, for enterprise mobility and security. So I've already done that, but click on activate. And once you've clicked on activate, um, it will take about an hour to, to, to be implemented. This is a cloud service, so it's not always immediate when you make a change. Uh, it's dependent on how busy uh, the environment is and also on your location. So give it about an hour and then you can go into licenses and features. And you can see all of the licenses and features that you have. If you click on all products, you can see it's got the enterprise mobility and security, which we just enabled. It gives you 20, 250 uh, licenses. And then over here underneath, you can see Microsoft 
365E5 developer. This was the subscription that we, the license that we enabled when we clicked on join now. And this is the one that we've just created. So for our admin account, it's important that we have uh, enterprise mobility and security uh, enabled. You can see we have none assigned. So click on enterprise mobility and security. And we have no users added over here. So what we need to do is click on assign users and groups. And you can see over here, I have three users that I've already added to my tenant. But uh, if we select the admin user, you have 25, uh, 250 uh, users, uh, licenses available, so you can add multiple ones. But for this purpose, I only want my admin user added there. We only need one. And if you click on assign, it takes a little bit to assign it. You can see over here, we have a uh, message saying the license has been assigned. And if we click refresh, uh, you can see the admin user has been added here. If we go back to licenses and uh, we click on refresh, all products, and you can see over here, we now have one user added. This is our admin user that we added, and this over here has changed. So we have 249 licenses available. As I mentioned, this might take a while for it to be activated. Uh, so give it about an hour. But if we go back to our admin center and we scroll down, you can see over here we have security. If you click on security, it will ask you to, to, to log in. Once you have logged in, uh, you see, you'll see you have another, a number of options. To test that uh, the license has been activated, you can check if you have e-discovery. If e-discovery is not available here, you need to, to wait, uh, uh, give it some time, so uh, uh, maybe an hour or so, and then this should be available. If this is available, then you know that your, your um, enterprise mobility and security license has been properly assigned to your user account. Good, uh, that's it for, for this video. What we've done, we've created a free Microsoft uh, Office 365 subscription on the E5 uh, subscription, and we've enabled the Enterprise Mobility and Security E5 and added our admin account to that. In the next videos, we'll be going into looking at user identities and setting up groups, as well as a, a number of other features. I will add all of these links to, to the video description, but if you have any questions or any comments, please feel free to, to add to the comment and I'll be happy to hear your feedback.